Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm talking today about Luke 18, verse 10. And it talks about two men in the temple going to pray. And one is a Pharisee, a very religious person, full of his own self-importance, full of his religiosity. And the other is a tax collector. Now, tax collectors in those times were despised. They were thought of as traitors. And when the Pharisee is praying, he's praying, and thank goodness I'm not like one of those people. You know, I, you know, thank goodness I'm not like that tax collector. He was full of his own self-importance of how good he was. Whereas the tax collector, he was, you know, beating his chest saying, you know, Lord, I'm a sinner, have mercy upon me. And it, Jesus said, one of them went away justified that is the tax collector and how everyone who exalts himself will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted praise the lord and so what we see there is is firstly the two hearts you know how one had a humble heart coming before the lord the other was a heart full of pride and self-exaltation. And the reason this passage speaks so much to me personally is because there was a time in my life where I was very much like that Pharisee. I didn't spend a lot of time with the Lord. I wasn't spending a lot of time reading the Word of God. I'd read it if I had a message to preach, but I wouldn't spend time each day looking at the Bible. Sometimes weeks could go by without me actually spending time with the Lord. And my prayers were just quick things. You know, I, I'd pray for parking space or I'd pray that I had a good day to that day. And I preached one day about how good it is that we're not comfortable Christians. How, you know, we, we love the truth as believers. We're not like you know, believers in other churches, that in the dead churches that love compromise and just sitting there warming the pew. And I was kind of patting myself on the back, saying how good we are. And I came out of that church service and as I was in the car park, the Lord spoke to me and said to me, you are a comfortable Christian. And... It sort of it was an internal voice. I promise you, this this you know, whether you believe me or not, to you know this is true. And it just floored me, because I realised that I had been patting myself on the back, thinking I was such a wonderful believer, when really, I was a comfortable Christian. I was just going about doing my things. I had no real hunger for the Lord. And after that point, everything changed for me. I knew I had to spend time with him. I knew I had to get into the word. I had to spend time in prayer. I knew that I was filled with pride and I needed to change. Now, that was a few years back now. But I know that for me, that had crept in. I wasn't like that at the beginning. I was, I was zealous for the Lord when I was first saved. But it crept in and I became comfortable. We're not to become comfortable with the Lord. It's the same with the Word of God. Like, I don't just want the nice bits that pat me on the back, that tell me that I'm wonderful. I want the whole Word of God. I want the strong bits. You know, when, when, when you're having a meal, you don't just want lots and lots and lots of dessert all the time. You'd feel sick. But then again, you don't just want... This, you know, stuff that's, you know, all the vegetables all the time. You know, you need that balance. And it's like that way with the Word of God. We need those words that chastise us. And we also need those words that encourage us. And I'm so blessed for that revelation. Um, even though it really messed me up, God calling me a comfortable Christian, that word set me free. The truth shall set you free. And I became hungry for the Lord. You know, I know now I, I need to spend time with him. I can't pat myself on the back like that Pharisee was doing. 
oh, how wonderful you are and how bad others are. You know, look at those people in those dead churches. I can't do that anymore because I was a comfortable Christian. I'm not a comfortable Christian anymore. Hallelujah. God bless you.